In this demonstration, we'd like to show you some of the features of the MyWay I-1200 scale. This scale is 1,200 grams by a tenth of a gram. We'd like to walk through the calibration of the scale. Um, all scales, when delivered, they are not calibrated because everywhere in the world is a different magnetic north. So they are calibrated in the factory. Uh, the MyWay I-1200 is manufactured in China, so the scale should be calibrated when first put into service. The majority of the people that purchase these scales, they, they don't buy the calibration weights, but we highly recommend that you buy them. It's an optional accessory. Um, any scale in this price range, the calibration weight would be an option. So let's walk through how to do the calibration. I've turned this scale on. It's been on for about 10 minutes and we'll put on, this is a 1000 gram calibration weight and we'll put it on and we'll see that the scale reads 1000.7. So it's off by seven divisions. The scale by no means is defective. All it needs to be is calibrated. So let's walk through how to calibrate the scale. And uh, we'll just, I have some 500, here's a 500 gram weight. And again, you'll see it's 500.3, so it's off by three divisions. Let's put on another 500 gram weight. And now it's 1000.7, so it's off by seven divisions. So again, we just need to calibrate the scale. Very simple to do, but you have to have the optional calibration weight. So to perform the calibration, we're going to turn the scale off. And you want to hold down the zero key while pressing the on key and then release. So the display shows all eights and then we're going to get a random number. This is the random number off the A to D converter. It really means nothing to the end user, but it's just the value. It's a signal coming off the uh, load cell going into the A to D converter. So, we need to store this value. We call this the zero reference. Nothing is on the platform, and we are storing this value in the A to D converter so that the balance knows this is 0.0. .0. So to store it, we're going to press the mode set button. And when we press it, the, we'll see on the display it's going to show 00 save. And so we press it once, and you'll see 00 save. Now the scale displays the calibration weight that's needed. We need a 1,000 gram weight. We can do this with a 1,000 gram weight. We can do this with two 500s. We can do this with five 200 gram weights. Uh, whatever it takes, you need 1,000 grams to put on a scale. So we place the 1,000 gram calibration weight on the center of the platform and we press the mode button, the mode set button. And again, you're gonna see Zero, 00 save and now again there's a number coming off the A to D converter this number is going to toggle just slightly but this is the value that's being stored in the A to D converter for 1000 grams and if we shut off the scale take the calibration weight off the platform turn the scale back on the scale will go through its countdown mode this is testing the functionality of the electrons. The scale is now at zero, zero. If I put on the 1,000 gram mass, the scale reads 1,000 grams. So you can see, when I took the scale out of the box, it read 1,000.7 off by seven divisions. Calibrate the scale, scales within tolerance. Here's my 500 gram weight. Here's my other 500 gram weight, 1,000. Scales right on the money. Um, the MyWay i1200 is an extremely affordable scale in this price category. Um, uh, if you look at all the features that the scale offers, it's tough to beat uh, the MyWay i1200. The scale does come with the AC adapter standard. Uh, the scale can operate off of six AA batteries. I have a scale here where I took the cover off the back just for this demonstration. But uh, you can run it off of either batteries or AC adapter. The batteries you have to supply yourself. They do not come with the scale. Uh, a couple more features about the scale I'd like to show you is 
on the left hand side of the display right here we have a weigh meter and you'll notice this weigh meter goes up as we increase the weighing capacity so it's a 200 gram weight and you'll notice the scale goes the meter goes higher and higher it gives an idea to the person using the scale how much weighing capacity is left uh, sometimes a person might want to use this weigh meter for example if I had a thousand grams and I zeroed it out and I forgot exactly what I have on the platform I'd be looking at this weigh meter and again you'll notice I just zeroed out or teared the one kilogram weight and if I put on 200 grams the scale shows it but my weigh meter is telling me that look I'm at I'm at the capacity so that's a nice unique feature about the my way I1200 also the I500 uh, has the same similar features so if I take off the one kilogram weight you'll see I have a negative number to correct that all I do is hit the zero key a few more features about the scale I'd like to just show you um, we can choose multiple weigh modes so right now we're in grams and the little arrow is pointing to that we can change the weigh mode by simply pressing the mode key we go to ounces press the mode key again we go to pounds again we're in troy ounces we're in penny weight we're in carrots grains then there's a pots counting feature and then we're back to grams um, a nice feature that the my way has is if I left the scale on in pounds I was to take off or shut off the scale if I turn the scale back on it will remember the last weigh mode that I was in so I shut it off in pounds scale powers up in pounds it's a great little feature a lot of other brands out there uh, when you shut off the scale it will go back to the factory default so the scale is in pounds and now if I want to set it back to grams simply press the mode button and we're back into grams uh, the scale comes with a nice stainless steel platform for easy cleaning, removable. Uh, it's a popular scale for the educational market since schools are looking for the best value possible. They're trying to buy as many scales for their science laboratory with their limited budgets. Uh, my way really fits the bill. Uh, the scale does not have any RS-232 for data acquisition. It's just a simple, basic scale, but this is an ideal scale for the educational market especially where they have limited funds especially where eventually probably the children are going to uh, knock the scale off the table and break it uh, the my way performs excellent uh, we hope this demonstration shows you some of the features of the scale how simple it is to calibrate and how we always recommend you do buy that optional calibration weight so you can perform the calibration you can purchase these balances at balances.com or our new website scaleman.com we are precision weigh and balances we're an authorized my way dealer we've been in business since 1995 selling online we've been a my way dealer for well over 10 years it's a great product and we highly recommend it for people on a limited budget thanks for watching this video